Blake's first basket of the game was a lob. He kind of called for coming down the, the left side of the court. Is that kind of a, I mean, that's a play you guys have run a hundred times. Did, did that feel kind of like old times, I guess? Uh, I guess. I mean, he was open. Um, trying to find him. You know what I mean? Um, you know, practice was great yesterday, having BG back in there. You know, the game today, you could just see at times where, you know, the ball was hopping and he was finding a guy. Chris, what was your, it's understandable that he was going to struggle a little bit, but what was your overall impression of Blake's return? Um, man, it was great. It was great. I don't even know the box scores and stuff like that, but immediately him coming back is not going to be about the, the numbers and all that stuff like that. I think it's just a comfort level for us uh, defensively. You know, I think that play, when he got the rod, it was because he got a defensive stop before. You know, so um, it's just a confidence with him on the court that it brings to all us. Chris, you had a fast break. It was you and Blake at one point, and JJ was in the corner. You wanted to pass now to JJ for the three. Is that something you would have done a couple years ago? Is that something the way the game? We, we see a lot more transition threes now. Is, is that just the way the game is going now? That's an option. Um. If you watch it from a basketball perspective, um, Bradley Bill took away Blake because Blake does what? He dunks. So it was a basketball play. I don't think it was more than that. It was Blake was taken away. Um, I was caught in decision and layup, and I seen JJ, who leads the league in three-point percentage at the three-point line. I figured, why not? Can you uh, talk about your execution on that play, that last play where you uh, side kind of sidestepped John Wall and, and got that shot? Um, the play we ran, uh, it didn't necessarily work. So we had three seconds on the shot clock. So it was just, to, you know, let me get it, see if I can make a shot. And luckily, it went in. Chris, to, to piggyback off that late game execution for you guys, the past month and a half has been has been really good. Mm -hmm. Sands blowing that twelve point lead. Uh, you know, you guys execute down the stretch. You're three. That Bob to DJ. Talk about the late game execution for you guys. Yeah, I think because, uh, you know, most of us have been together for a while now, you know, we take a lot of pride in late game execution. You know, we've been on both sides of those games, losing games and winning games. So we're really trying to pay attention to late game execution. And uh, offense has been great. We just got to be better on defense. You know, we've talked a lot about integrating Blake in and how Blake's going to fit with you guys. But did you see any changes with, you know, DeAndre or, or, or JJ and their aggressiveness? Or, or was it kind of, were they at the same level that they were the past 45 games? Uh, I haven't had a chance to look at the game or read that much into it. I just know uh, defensively, you know, guys a little bit more engaged. With Blake, there's endless possibilities. Like him and JJ got a little game that they usually play together. So it was good to see that. DJ uh, and Blake usually have a ball screen. So it was, it was good to see some of that action. You know, me looking for him on a short roll and stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't done in a while. This uh, will be the last time you guys will host Kobe uh, on Tuesday. What's it going to be like you know, to, to kind of say goodbye to him? Are you playing the next game too? Um, what's it going to be like? Uh, it's going to be a competition first and foremost. You know, at the end of the day, Kobe's a competitor. You know, and he's going to come out trying to win the game as we will. But, um, you know, I'm sure after the games, we'll do all that talking and stuff like that. But during the game, it's, it's competition. Do you have a favorite memory with him? Favorite memory, got a few of them, a lot of them. Um, I don't know, it's hard to just draw the one, but uh, he, he, the league will miss him, just know that much, big time. You talked about the, the role with Blake, the defense, and what he, him and JJ can kind of do together. Would you say that a lot of the what he brings, I guess, may not just show up on a stat sheet right away, it's just kind of tangible things that you miss without him, I guess? Right, right, like you come off a ball screen, the guy is guarding him, you know, sometimes may not help as much on me because of what he's capable of. You know, like I said, just um, the confidence that everyone seems to have when he's on the court um, is big, and we're going to work him back in slowly. But um, it's, it's, it's great to have him back. All right, thanks, guys.